have great questions from our always curious chat audience. Our first question comes from Moondoggy, who would like to know, Laurel, how did you first get started in commercials? First of all, hi, Moondoggy. I'd like to know how you got your name, Moondoggy. Um, OK, how did I get started in commercials? I moved to Los Angeles many years ago. And it's a great way to get started as an actor and hopefully try to make a living. So I got myself a commercial agent. And then I had a couple of commercial agents. It took me a little while to sort of find the right fit. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, uh, I landed on one that I, I really loved. And they were really encouraging to me because historically, prior to Toyota, the first iteration, I, w I'm not a I was not a big commercial booker. I was a big commercial get closer. Mm -hmm. Like I was, I, I got super close. I got avails all the time. Yeah. I was sort of always a bridesmaid. Never a bride. Mm -hmm. Which I auditioned for incidentally and I also didn't get. <laughs> um, but I, so I then, but, but if you have good agents, they'll really encourage you. Like I took a hiatus because I was kind of losing my mind. I was getting so close and not getting Well, you it. lose your confidence too, I think. And you need to regroup. Yeah. yeah, it's discouraging. Although they were like, no, it's encouraging. And I was like, glass is half empty. Um, yeah. So then, but then they encouraged me to get back into it. And I think the first audition back was that Toyota campaign that I talked about. And earlier. there you go. And you know what? You ended up with gold, really. I mean, it's like you could do a bunch of commercials and they never really go anywhere. And then you ended up with one that's a recurring character that you get to play and you get to do a bunch of spots. I mean, what yeah. could be better? Yeah, I feel really fortunate. Our next question, this is a good segue. Uh, Stardust64 says that, uh, Laurel, you were allegedly in the Groundlings comedy troupe, and they would like to know how that helps you in your commercial acting. Um, I'm a Groundling. It's a really, uh, it's, it's an improv theater and a sketch theater, and it's also a school. And the school is very competitive, and it's a little bit confusing, actually, to explain, but basically there are different points along the way where you get voted on and you're either dismissed from the school or you're um, promoted to the next level and you go through that for quite a while until you get to kind of the junior varsity team and then on the junior varsity team at the Groundlings it's called the Sunday Company and you do a brand new sketch show every week for ideally a year and a half and there are three points along the way there where you're voted on and either dismissed or promoted and eventually you get voted on and you're either made a Groundling or you're hit the curve. Yeah, it's stressful. <laughs> it is. It's stressful. But oh, and it's great for your commercial career because you're you're um, you're totally vetted, basically, um, and and you learn really good skills like memorization and being a professional and sort of showing up and having fun and being able to roll with the punches. So right. It served me well. I feel very honored to be a part of that company. Yeah, that's excellent. Um, Wild Weasel, these are great names, by the way. Wild Weasel uh, says that on your Toyota spots, there are so many crazy characters and, and good actors. Have you had a chance to work to make it, up with any friends guy. on your uh, let's spots? Let's see, uh, La La Land, oh, cool. Triple yeah, X. That's so any cool, advice Wild for Weasel. actors Meet trying to become doggy. the next um, Jan? Wild Weasel, oh. uh, yes. I know, uh, let's see, I know that's a, a lot of question. people that I've I think worked advice, with the tricky thing about advice really is I fantastic. can give you advice, I think the people who and I will. cast the um, but it, have good it, it might help you yeah. or it might um, actually be the yeah. opposite and of helpful and you'll eventually Angeles, be like, that the comedy was the community worst actually anyone ever told me. It totally didn't small, serve me. So you'd be surprised how many people every actor sort of has their own know, or you know that um, Kevin Bacon thing journey. it's like, but oh, I know so I would say the best we got thing that I did for myself was to stop worrying about the Oh, we're best friends. Yeah, and we've been in three right? I was sort of a teacher's head about I have a ton of makeup over this black eye. Uh, let's see, uh, La La Land Triple X. Any advice for actors trying to become the next jam? Oh. Oh, man. Uh, let's see, that's a good question. I think advice, the tricky thing about advice is I can give you advice, and I will. Um, but <laughs> it, it, it might help you, or it might actually be the opposite of helpful, and you'll eventually be like, that was the worst thing anyone ever told me. It totally didn't serve me. Because every actor sort of has their own um, journey. But I would say the best thing that I did for myself was to stop worrying about the lines and getting the lines right. I was sort of a teacher's pet about getting lines correct. And it really hampered me in the audition setting. I felt like I I just, right. I, I was too anal about it. And, and I, it was killing any fun that I was having in the room. Mm -hmm. So I would say try to go in and have fun and not worry about the lines. Mike, last question. Yes, from MB Deuce. You're so famous now, Laurel. Are people recognizing you on the street? Um, oh, that's nice. Uh, well, Mr. or Mrs. Deuce, um, I, I will, this is my answer to being recognized. Um, my husband and I were having lunch in this restaurant, and this woman was staring at me. And this was like early on in the Jan campaign, but I was like, here we go, here we go. I, 
This is it, honey. I mean, I mean, our whole world has changed. She wants to talk to Jan. She's obsessed with me. And, um, and so she was staring, and I was like, oh, my God, she's going to come over and talk to me. Oh, my gosh. So we're wrapping up our food, and we're getting up to leave, and she's coming over. I'm like, oh, my God, she wants an autograph. I need a pen. I need a pen. She wants an autograph. This woman loves Jan. And by the transitive property, she loves Laurel. And I stand up, and she hip checks me and is like, you done with the table? And sits down at the table. Oh, no. So not really, <laughs> but I, I do get recognized as having good taste in tables. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And for more commercial breaks, subscribe now.